Hey guys, RavDev here. Uh, we have our, our little base that I did ye in yesterday's episode right here. And I want to show you now how to do regen walls. So, you're going to need, if you thought you needed a lot of lava for that one, you're going to need a lot more lava for this and it's not reusable. But basically, imagine this is one of your rows of, of walls that you're going to do. And uh, hey, I got a text message. Alright, that's okay. See? Very unprofessional. I'm reading my texts while I'm recording. Alright, so I go right there. That will open up a little bit. And so I don't go to that one. I do that one. So it's every th three, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So you can just put these all the way across. And one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't really need that on there. But you'll need to let it flow. And you'll need some water. Uh, hurry up and flow. And, and of course, imagine this again from 255 blocks high. It's going to take a couple minutes. But uh, uh, this is pretty much down now. And I don't need a bunch of water on here, and I'll be able to reuse this. But you need to go ahead and let it gin the walls. And it makes these little... You've seen these before, I'm sure. Why, hello, tree. Um, okay. So as soon as these are ginned, what you then do is you take off the water, and we'll take the lava back out. All we're doing right here is filling in the pillars so that we can build onto it. All right. Let's, well, let's check this side make sure it ginned all the way down. And it did, so we'll pull the water off now. Here, let me show you how it works right now. With the water still on there, if I break a block, nothing happens. It just, the block's gone forever. So, let me put that back in its place and take the rest of the water off here. So now what we can do is we can remove this nether rack or your choice of block. But you do have to remove it, so don't make it too difficult. And we will also remove the lava. Okay, so we will let that drain now. So I'm not going to do it in all of them. It'll take a long time. I do have quite a bit of lava, so maybe I'll just use this all up and you can see what the deal is. But these are almost drained. So now what you have to do, and if you can't fly, this becomes a booger. So what you do if you can't fly is you just mine one row of this down and build up while you're placing the lava. Looks like that lava's almost drained to the bottom, though. Let's see. That's done. That one's done. Okay, so what we have to do now is in every spot, we need to place a... Ah! Well, that's not good, because I'm in my god set. Alright, you have to do fire res pots for this. Or you'll catch on fire and die, and lose all the lava. So let me... Let me get out my dragon pet. That'll work just as well. If not... Weller. <laughs> There's that. And dragon pet. So there, there, there. Every single spot. So, and I might have missed one right there. Yes, I did. So there, there, there. Okay, so that tube's done. 
Now, of course, if you do have fire res pots on, we need to put one there. You won't have to worry so much about burning in fire. And of course, also here, let me not fly. You can actually swim up the lava. And that actually is probably the fastest way to do it. Swim up the lava, placing the blocks. And you can get to the top. So I'll do that without fly just to show. There's this. There's this. It's actually nice and controlled. Maybe fly wasn't as OP as I thought for this. And so, again, imagine doing this from ground to the ceiling, 255 high. This will take a while. It will take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lava. All right. Well, I'm not sure what the plans are for next weekend yet. But I've had a few comments about doing a Q&A uh, live on Twitch. So I'll probably end up doing that for you guys next Saturday. So come up with some questions. And uh, and we'll try and see if I can get you guys all on Twitch. And Did I miss one? I'm going to put an extra one there just in case. I said I wasn't going to fly and I, I did. So... But ask me whatever you'd like on it. I'm at 500 subs now officially. I will be drawing in the next week or so for who can uh, who will join my faction on Forgotten until reset. And I'll I'll pick that randomly, of course. Oh, that one's done. I only have two more. I'll have plenty of lava for this. I'll do the whole set of walls. And again, if you have your faction helping you building a bunch of these, it can go real quick. And there's that one, and we'll go now to the last one. There must be about 16 high because it takes about a stack. I misplaced one there, so. It'll be messed up in a second, but that's okay. And we're to the top. All right, so now what you need to do is you need to cap them. And I like to cap them with obsidian. Um, if someone were to break the top blocks they can incrementally go down your regen walls. So, of course, you shouldn't have anything uh, very important at the top. And uh, it'll, it'll take them a while to do something like that. And now we just place the water again. So now I'll put it in every spot. And then I'll show you one other thing that I like to do on these walls. And I did have it in my video... Uh, for my molten base. So now let me show you how these work. Here, let me get in the water so I stop flaming. You guys always ask me how I can even play with a without a low flame pack on. But now I'm going to break that. If it's not the same block, it's a similar one. Right in that same area. And now they just come back. So if somebody went nuts, I'm going to break a few of these, okay? Boom, boom, boom. I mean, they blow a hole in the wall. They just all come back. Now the other thing I like to do on these is just so it can't be airburst, I do like to fill it in with uh, extra water on top of it. And I'll show you what you can do on that. There's a couple ways to do it. If you're not too worried about them getting the top, you can actually just place the water on the side of the wall. But I'll show you why that's not a good idea here in, in good detail. So you can place the water source here and here. And I'll do that all the way down just so you can see how it fills in. So down here, it is watered, so this is still protected. It sends some water out here, but the problem is, is right up here, you still have unprotected corners on this top block. And that top block is actually the one that will turn to obsidian if busted. So the better thing to do on this 
is you can go from these side blocks and that will now protect the top of that block as well. It'll take uh, double the amount of water, but that is the much better way to do it. And if you wanted to get all crazy on it, you could actually pull out your nether rack and put the water out here. And then that will now flow down one more. Let me show you how it looks on this unobstructed side without any of our original changes. So you put that out here and it puts a nice even wall across the front. So with those with like, uh, what is it, design OCD and it, you need it to be all nice and uniform, that may be the way to do it. You can't airbrush the cobble and it's all nice and, and straight down that front now. And so we can take this away. We got to reboot. So I'm going to wrap this up here real quick. But these are now officially regen walls. So let me know if you have any questions on it. It's, it is a little tedious. You need to first build that shell out. And then you'll need to fill the entire entirety of it. All of the tubes with lava. And then when you put your water back on, you'll be all set. So let me stick my dragon pet away into my PV before I forget. And I'll wrap it up there. So I think we have everything covered then. I, I showed kind of the base layout designs that I did on my actual base, showed you how I gened my walls. Now I showed you how to do regen walls. With that combination of that, you can make a base that's, and don't get me wrong, that's not unrateable, but it makes it extremely difficult for your average canoner to do anything. It's only going to be the people that really know what they're doing that are going to be able to get into your base. And if you have a good squad on and can at least give them some trouble, you can cause them some panic if, if you're online while they're trying to attack you. You're going to make it a lot harder for them. So get out there and build some good bases, guys. I want to see some really awesome stuff after Forgotten Resets.